The following KQED production was produced in high definition. with Quest and today we're at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum in Walnut Creek where they rehabilitate sick and injured wild animals found right in our backyard. So Don, who do we have here? Well Lauren, this is our female turkey vulture and she's been here at the museum for 35 years. Is that normal for these birds to live that long? They can. They're actually going to live a lot longer in captivity but in the wild I would say no more than 20 years. So these are the birds that you can see soaring around the skies here in the Bay Area, right? Yep, they've got the big wide wings and they're looking for food up there and they'll let the wind do the work for them. Do they find their prey by sight mostly? Uh, they'll use sight and they also have an excellent sense of smell which is not typical for birds of prey. And they eat dead things. Yes, they eat roadkill and carry on and any kind of dead animals that they can get their, their beaks on. They actually have this great adaptation for when they are scared and they need to get away fast. They regurgitate their food and it serves two purposes. And one of them is to uh, offend their predators because it smells really bad and the other is to lighten the load so they can get away faster. She seems to have her wings out a lot. Why is that? She can look bigger when she feels uncomfortable so she looks a little bit more threatening. The other reason is actually when they're eating all that dead food they get a lot of parasites and unmentionables all over their feathers and they need to get them off and one of the best ways to do that is to use the UV radiation from the sun. So these guys are bald, they vomit, and they're covered in parasites. They must have a pretty great social life. You know they actually do have a really good social life. They will fly together looking for food, they'll roost together in trees, and they'll actually use these sharp beaks to clean each other. So they do really well together. Thanks Don. You're welcome. If you'd like to meet some of the wildlife ambassadors here at the Lindsay, you can check out their schedules at wildlife-museum.org.